Have you got a broken window in your ice castle like I do? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to fix it. So to do this job, you'll just need a couple basic tools. This little thing is called a little chiseler. Um, you can use this or a putty knife. I couldn't find my putty knife, shockingly. This will work just as well. A screwdriver, maybe. You want something that's not super thick. Basically, you're gonna just be prying some like vinyl casing stuff off of there. So you want something that's not gonna trash it because you have to reuse those pieces. This little chiseler thing works pretty well because it doesn't really, it's plastic so you can't really damage the other plastic. I looked all over for a tutorial on how to specifically replace a pane, like a, in a double pane window like this, in an ice castle. I found a lot of videos that were for houses and other things like that, but they weren't exactly the same. I figured maybe this would be useful for another ice castle owner. Just for the sake of knowledge, in case you don't know how to take these windows apart, you unlock it, these little sliders, slide them in, bring it up a little bit, slide them in, and it tips in like this. And then it kind of just hangs here. There are two little tab, like not tabs, but um, pins on either side of here. There's, you know, one there and one on here. And all you do is you just make them opposite like that. You know, you just kind of tip it. And the little pins, I don't know if you can see them there. There's one on this side and one on that side. And they just come out of these little holes here. You don't really need to remove the pane to do this job or the sash, I guess it's called. But just in case you wanted to know how to take that apart. So as you can see, the problem I have with my window is this inner pane is broke. So these are the pieces you're going to be removing. See how they're kind of overlapped right there? So that one, that one, that one, and this one here. You create like a gap there. I just stick a little chiseler in there. Oops break the rest of the window. And then once it gets going, you can kind of just like pull it out of there. I don't know if you can see how that's coming out. It doesn't take much to get them out of there. So you just kind of go like that. They just pop out. So that's all it takes to get those off. Now this should be free. They're kind of um, like stuck in there. They use like like an adhesive. Probably wear gloves doing this. There's like an adhesive. Um, like they use like sort of a two-sided tape in there, I guess. God, I hope I can get back with the glass before it rains. Well, I beat the rain back with the window. I tried to get a pane at Menards. Of course, they couldn't help me. I ended up going to a local glass company and they cut a single pane for me. They did warn me that this is a dual pane window, meaning it has like gas in it. So it probably will fog up doing it this way, but they would have had to order a new window for me. And that would have taken like 10, 12 days. And I just didn't really want to have my ice house wide open. This is the sticky stuff, kind of the sealant on the original window and it's it's not sticky like at all anymore. I'm gonna seal the, the new pane of glass to this frame using this stuff. This uh, R clear RTV is awesome. I use it for a lot of different things and I think that'll be a, a good product for this. I'm sure uh, a glass guy will probably look at this and roll his eyes right out of his head. But, you know, this is how we're doing it. I'm just gonna carefully apply it here. I, I wanna make sure it doesn't squish into view. I want to have enough on there so it seals it well. And it's an adhesive sealant, so I think it'll, I think this will work pretty well. I made it back with the window in time, but it's gonna rain before I get it in. So anyhow, here's the new pane of glass. Got the glass seated here. I'm just gonna take a couple of clamps, some wood, and just clamp it together. Just gonna put just a little bit of pressure on this, not much. I don't wanna break the other pane. Okay. 
just gonna let this sit for a while. I think it's probably a good idea to clean the track out or the whole thing here. Again, be careful because you might have shards of glass in here if you have a broken window. If you didn't have a broken window, I don't know why you're doing this. So my window has this like foamy two-sided tape stuff and it's not sticky at all anymore. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take all that out of there and um, just run a bead of that silicone around it, the RTV uh, adhesive silicone. And I think that should hold it just fine. And what's strange is this window is 12 by 12, but it goes in here a certain way. I don't know how that can be, but it does. So you stick the top up, get it in there, stick it, and kind of, that's, that's it, really. And you're ready for your little retainer thingies. These things just kind of hook under and pop back into place. Like, I hook under that lip in there. Oh. So that's it. The side ones have like an overlapping 45 on them. So that's why I'm doing the top one and the bottom one. And then the two sides overlap, I suppose it's to keep the leaks out. So for the trim pieces, make sure they're centered because you have to slip these side ones between this piece and this piece. And if it's butted up against there, obviously you can't really get it in there. Give me that little guy back over, and up here, okay, get the last piece in there. Okay, and that's it. You're done. So it took me all day, two rainstorms, a trip to town, two different stores, and a broken nail to get it done, but I got it done. And it seems just fine and everything went back together smoothly. So hopefully seeing this will help you take yours apart and uh, give you the confidence that you need to tackle this job on an ice castle. Thanks for watching.